So much about what we do in life is if we're going to grow, we've got to step out of our comfort zone. And the gentleman that I'm with in this picture, you're like, Steve, is that you? He's like, yeah, that's me. Um, he's a comedian and he's got his, uh, he's got his own gig in Las Vegas. Uh, his name is Derek Richards, Derek Richards, funny guy. And we were hosting, we were hosting a convention together. And he calls me up and he goes, Hey, let's come out as the blues brothers. I'm like, dude, I can't sing. I can't dance. There's not enough alcohol at the resort to get me to do that. And he laughed a little bit and he said, no, come on, brother. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're not going to sing it, but we're, we're going to lip sync it, sync it, lip sync it. And so we had about, gosh, I guess there's, there's probably 2,500 people in the room. And uh, we came out as the Blues Brothers and uh, we lip synced Soul Man. That's, uh, that's what it's all about, you guys. It's about just stepping out every now and then, stretching that comfort zone. It's the only possible way we are going to grow is if we feel uncomfortable. And me stepping out on that stage in front of 2,500 people doing Soul Man with Derek Richards, who is, he's a showman. Guy does, he does gigs all over the, all over the country. And we did that together and we had an absolute blast. And so I'm going to encourage you guys to, uh, to do that every once in a while, you know, step out of your comfort zone just a little bit and let's see how things grow. All right. Let me stop my share here for just a second. Cause I'm going to come back to that. Um, miracle workers. Why are you here? <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope some of you looked at that and went, what is Steve asking me? We do this every, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday. Why is he asking me that? Um, because I'm going to put you to the test a little bit today. And I'm not going to talk as much as I normally talk on these things because you guys are going to have to do some work today. What we did on Monday night was a little bit eye-opening with what uh what andrew did with uh, with our group and uh, my understanding is andrew's going to do that again with our group very very soon which is which is great okay um and i think he he opened a lot of people's eyes in how to talk to people about this business because a lot of times you know i'll get questions about you know do you lead with the product or you do you lead with the opportunity and it's like steve how do you get people to join your business as a as an associate i can only get customers um and those are the things that i that i want to address today um i had an interesting conversation with somebody the other day and i i'm going to be so transparent with you guys on these zooms because it's just us it's just us okay and when I showed my screen the other day, I didn't, I didn't realize my volume was showing, okay? And it was January 8th, and I had about $80,000 in volume so far. That's what I had so far, 80,000. And somebody texted me and said, oh my gosh, my volume's only 5,000 and yours is 80. I gotta get to work. And I said, okay. I said, tell me what's going on. And this person has a, has a bunch of customers. She goes, I've got a bunch of customers, but I, I just, I, I just, I just can't get my team going again. And I said, okay. Um, I said, the, the key is finding associates and finding the reason, finding the reason why they're here and then driving to the next rank, and then the next rank, and the next rank, and the next rank to reach whatever goal that is. I said, you always have to have, you always have to have a target for, for somebody to, sh to, to shoot for. You gotta have that target. And I said, if, if people are pushing towards the next rank, there's always a target. And then I said something that I think shocked her. I said, um, I said, your best customers are going to be inspired associates. Your best customers are associates. 
Because look at all of us. We, none of us here have any problem being qualified every month. You know, it's like we, we, we just make sure that we're qualified. We do what we need to do. But a lot of times we chase our customers, don't we? We chase our customers to go make sure they get that order in. And it's like, why are you not on SmartShip? And it's like, well, I don't want to be committed to it. It's like, oh my gosh. And we fight that all the time. And this is what absolutely shocked her. I said, um, I said, I've got five customers. She goes, what? I said, I've got five customers. She goes, you only have five customers? I said, yeah, I got five loyal customers. And between me and my five loyal customers, we do in the neighborhood of four to $600 a month in volume. That's it. But I've got 3,000 business builders. Guys, it's about business builders. We've got to figure out a way that we get comfortable in sharing the opportunity because that's where the money's at. The whole idea behind network marketing is you want to get a whole bunch of people to do a little bit. And I am stressing with the team to go out there and get $500 in, in customer in personal customer volume. You and your personal customers, think about it if everybody had $500 in volume. You know, what would your organization look like? And the people that are going to go out and make sure that they're qualified every month to get paid on their organizations are active reps, are active associates, pushing towards a goal. And so we've got to make sure that people have a, they know why they're building the business and then they've got to create something to help them drive that. And that something is what I'm going to talk about today. Okay. Now, did that, does that shock anybody that I just said that I have five customers? I only have five, you guys. I stink at gathering customers. I'm horrible at it. But I've got a lot of volume because I go after business builders and teach them to go get a small group of customers. That's the key. You're like, okay, Steve, better, easier said than done. I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's always easier said than done. So now let's figure out how we go after business builders. How are we going to go after those people that will actually go get a small group of customers and then show others who show others who show others who show others? All right, let me share my screen with you guys. If I were to ask you to paint this picture. Just show of hands, how many of you could go out there and do that? A few? Okay. Um, and I would tell you that you have to paint the picture exactly how you see it on this page. You can't deviate from it. You've got to paint it exactly how you see it right here. Now, I promise you, with the group that we have on here today, some of you are like, okay, Steve, I can't do that. I, I, I don't care what color you tell me I have to do it in. I, there's no way I can paint that. I, I, I don't have an artistic bone in my body. Okay? I, there's no way. Some of you will go, yeah, I can do that. I, 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 could, I could paint that picture. But I don't really like snow scenes. So I'm going to put grass where the snow is. And the leaves on these trees are missing. And so I'm going to make sure that I put some leaves on there and I'm going to put some wildlife. I'll put some birds over here. Um, and then this house, I don't, I don't really like brown houses. So I'm going, to, I'm going to paint it white. And the windows are kind of messed up here. So I'm going to add another maybe window here. And then I'm going to put some smoke coming out of the chimneys here. And uh, I'll, put, I'll put some sun over here. No, no, you, you, you can't change it. You have to paint the picture exactly how you see it right here. Well, some of you are like, okay, I'm going to try. So we've got some people that are going to try 
We've got some people who are going to try and change some things. And then we've got some people who say, there's no way I can do that. There's no way I can do that. So how do we help all three groups? If I ask you guys to paint this picture without any more detail than this, I'm not going to help any of those three groups. But what if I said, I want you to paint this picture, but I'm going to give you this to help you. Now, raise of hands, how many of you can paint that picture exactly how I told you to paint it? Right? Everybody. We can all go out and do it. And, and, and listen, you sit here and go, okay, um, all the ones are going to be brown. Um, let's see, all the sixes are going to be white. The tens are going to be kind of a bluish color. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to give you the paintbrush. I'm going to give you the paint. And I'm actually going to give you the water to rinse out your brush. Now, how many of you believe that you can go out there and paint that picture exactly how you see it? Okay, the rest of you are lazy or lying, one of the two. Okay, I got you all. Okay, good. Okay, are we all on the same page? So now, Steve, this is great. I love that you're telling us this, but where's the paintbrush? Where's the water? Where's the brush? Okay, if, well, you guys can all do this. You guys can all do this. What I want you to do now is I want you to go to Facebook. But when you're at Miracle Workers right here, I want you to go down to this search bar right here. See where it says discussion, featured, members, all this stuff right here. Way over here is a search bar. I want you to click on that search bar. And I want you to type in the search milkshake, M-I-L-K-S-H-A-K-E. Now, I've been here so many times that it's already right here for me. Type in milkshake and hit enter. And this is what comes up, okay? It says, welcome to the team. And I want you to click on this link right here, the milkshake app. We call it an app, but it's a link. And it says, thank you for being a part of our Super Patch family. Welcome to the team. Little welcome here, blah, 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 blah. I want you to click this arrow to the right. And it says, welcome kit online guide. Click here. And this is what opens up. And this is all in your back office, you guys. I'm just showing you a really easy way to get to it. It says, welcome kit resources and then you come down and depending on where you live north america europe the uk click on learn more so obviously i live in north america so i'm going to click on learn more and then all of this pops up it's the north america welcome kit your digital welcome kit. Now, I want you to just see what's on the screen right here. Super Patch Playbook, Comp Plan at a Glance, Product Catalog, Promise to Demo, The Magic of Three-Way Calls, How to Follow Up with Social Media, Your Leads, How do you track your, your leads and your samples and your customers? All of this is right here. And what I want you to click on is Super Patch Playbook. And this is what comes up. Now, some of us got this when we enrolled. Remember the, the welcome kit that we got you guys? Now we, we live in such a digital world. The company says, nah, we're gonna give you $75 worth of product you're going to have to download this stuff yourself. It's like, fine, we can do that. So now, if you take a look at this, it says new associate, your URL, 
please write that down somewhere. You guys cannot believe how many people call me and say, hey, Steve, I can't remember what my URL is. I'm like, you created it. And I get it because when I call Verizon or I call any other vendor that I use and they say, well, Steve, what's your password? I'm like, ah, I can't remember. They go, Steve, you created it. I'm like, yeah, but I forgot to write it down. And so I feel, I feel your pain, okay? So that's why, just write it down. What's your URL? You know, Mary Smith at super, you know, dot superpatch.com, whatever, okay. Your ID number, your enrollers, cell phone number, blah, 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 okay. And then this is, you just scroll through this thing. Here's our mission. Here is a little bit of history about the company. Who is Jay Dollywall? And then, welcome to the Super Patch team. Let's get started with your super profile. Your profile, your super profile will often be used for posting ideas. People are interested in your story. Okay, let me highlight this. Boom. People are interested in your story. This is the emotion behind your passion to share the super patches with, with other people. Now, here's the major problem. A lot of people don't have a story. A lot of people do not have a story. So I want you guys to work on this right now. We're gonna take five minutes and I want you to write down on paper or type it out however you're doing it. I want you to answer these two questions. Why Super Patch? Why did you say yes? and what drives you to do this. Why are you here? The very first slide, when I was playing music this morning, it said, welcome to Miracle Moments. Why are you here? I want you guys to tell me, write it down right now. Tell me why Super Patch, why did you say yes, and what drives you to do this? We've got five minutes. Okay, you know, probably five minutes wasn't enough time for you guys to, to completely finish this. But for the sake of time right now, I'm going to talk about this and we're gonna move on to the next one. But I encourage you to go back and, and finish, finish what this is. Um, why Super Patch? Why did you say yes and what drives you to do this? Do you know that I answer that question every single Tuesday night. I answer that question to every single person that I talk to. Once I get done having a conversation with somebody, reaching out to them, touching base, we haven't even mentioned Super Patch, we've been talking for 15 or 20 minutes, asking how are they doing, how are the kids, How's the job going? Tell me what's going on in your life. And as soon as they tell me or ask me, Steve, tell me what's going on. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? This is part of my story. This is absolutely part of my story. And for me, you guys hear me say, you know, why, why am I doing this? And my answer is because I don't want to miss this. I've been doing this for over 33 years. It is by far the most unique product that I've ever had a chance to promote. Think about it. We have a drug-free, chemical-free solution for pain. No side effects. What drives me is that this is brand new. Nobody in the world has it. And we've got an opportunity like none other. And flat out, I'm not going to miss it. That's why I'm here. That's it. Okay. Number two. This is right in these documents, you guys. What super patches do you wear every day and why? What super patches do you wear every day and why? I'm giving you four minutes. Okay, so you've got a really good idea of why you're here, what drives you to go out there and, and promote the super patches. You're obviously wearing the patches every day Make sure you can just rattle them off every day. I mean, every single day I wear victory, defend, 
and focus now, but every day it was, it was victory, uh, defend and flow and guys flow will come back. Don't worry about it. Flow is going to come back. But in, in place of that, I'm wearing, I'm wearing focus right now and ignite. I'm not taking any chances with ignite. If this thing is helping me burn calories, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> I wear, I wear ignite every single day. And we, and we hear stories about that. Um, for today's zoom, I put on focus and I put on peace. Why not? And then every night I wear REM. So be a product of the product and be able to talk about them and why you wear certain patches. The reason I wear victory over Liberty is because I want faster recovery time. I play almost every single day and uh, at the, I go to the gym every day, almost every day. And I just want, I just need, I just want faster recovery time. Okay. And that's what victory does, does for me. Okay, number three, this is our last one for today. You guys would have loved me as your fifth grade teacher because I don't give you a lot of homework. Just three questions today, pretty simple. Number three, how has or will the Super Patch business help you? How has it or how will it help you? You've got four minutes you're obviously going to need a little bit more time in completing this. My point is, this information is right here. You have the ability to create it because only you can figure out why you're here and what drives you. You are the one that's going to explain what patches you use and why you use those certain patches and only you can talk about how the super patch business is helping you or how it will help you. When you hear me speak, when I do a presentation on Tuesdays, or even those of you that I'm doing three-way calls with, I answer all of these questions in 12 minutes. In 12 minutes. You know, um, when I'm doing a when I'm doing a a discovery call with somebody, the the, the important part is is that everything I say is going to relate back to them. I don't just call somebody up and go, let me tell you why I got involved in super patch. These are the patches that I use and this is why we're doing it. It's like, no, 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 no. They just push, there's major pushback when you do something like that. And so you have a conversation with somebody and you try to discover what is going on in their life. And then you can provide a solution. When somebody says, you know, they're, they're having trouble sleeping, you know, they're at the gym the other day and they've got major knee pain and they think they're going to, you know, their hip is hurting them. Well, then in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, I know exactly how you feel. I started wearing this patch called the Freedom Patch and my pain has disappeared with no side effects. Oh yeah, I know. I, listen, I know exactly how you feel. Um, I was, I have, I, I, I've always had trouble sleeping. Then I found this, this little patch It's called the REM patch. I wear that every night. I have the best sleep I've ever had relate your experiences to them, to them. People love to talk about themselves. Let them talk about themselves, okay? I love what, 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 what Jimmy Bowles did for us on, on Tuesday. And he said, um, <laughs> he's got an acronym called SHACK and it's shut up and ask questions. Just shut up and ask questions. It's not all about your, your story. It's about your story relating to the person you're talking to. Because then they sit back and go, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. And so, guys, if you can incorporate these three questions, why super patch? Why did you say yes and what drives you? What patches you're wearing? And how, how has it helped you in business? You know, when you guys hear me, how I answer this question right here, how will or how has the super patch business helped you? I said, listen, guys, I've only been in this thing for 19 months. This thing is growing faster than anything I've ever done in the past 33 years. This is how I talk to people. Okay. I say, we've got the fastest growing organization in all of North America. This thing is growing completely out of control in a big way, in a really good way. Boom. That's all I say. 
So how has the Super Patch business helped me? Well, I don't know, 19 months, we got the fastest growing group. It's growing faster than anything I've ever done before. And you know what that creates? FOMO. It creates, I want to be, I want to, I'll have what, what she's having. What movie is that? Sleepless in Seattle? Is that what that is? <laughs> create that fear of loss. Create the fact. Create a situation where people want to join you. Or create a situation where people want a solution to their pain or their sleep issues, or handling stress, or their financial issues. And how do you know all of that? Because you asked them. You asked them. You didn't bring up Super Patch until they laid out their problems. Have a conversation with somebody and start peeling back the onion layers. And when somebody says, man, I have trouble sleeping. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how you feel, man, that, that, that happens. And somebody says, you know, I'm not making all the kind of, I'm not making the money I want to make. I'm like, yeah, I get it, man. I was a dead broke school teacher. You know, 33 years ago, I was teaching school. I couldn't, there was always more month at the end of the money. Yeah, I feel you, man. Blah, 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 blah. Well, Steve, what have you been up to? Oh, man, you know me. You know, always a networker at heart. And then what I tell them is, I say, listen, you're, you're seriously not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. In fact, what I'm going to tell you in the next 10 minutes is gonna sound a little bit crazy. It's gonna sound a little bit unbelievable. In fact, it's gonna sound a little bit silly. What, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm telling you that up front because that's exactly how I felt the first time that I heard about this. Well, what are you doing? I got, in, I got interested, I got in, um, introduced to this little patch and then I go into it. It's like, you were, you, were, you were telling me you're having trouble sleeping? Yeah, I wear this patch every single night. I have the best sleep ever. I've got this pain patch, blah, 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 blah. I relate the conversation back to them. And that creates a situation where they want to be a part of this company. And then I say to them, and this is, this is the magic sauce, you guys. When they sit back and go, oh my gosh, I need something for pain. You know, and you slap a pain patch on them and their pain goes away in five minutes, 10 minutes. They're like, this is nuts. I say, yeah. Do you know of other people that might benefit from this? Do you know of other people who might benefit from this? You know what their answer is 100% of the time? Yes. Yes. I said, well, listen, if you introduce this to them, and why in the world would you not introduce this to them? Because I say those words. Why in the world would you not introduce them to this because of the success that you've had? The company will pay you. In fact, they're going to pay you a residual income every time that they order. Well, how does that work? And then you walk through the business part of it. it. Costs 50 bucks to be an associate. You get to buy the products at wholesale. Blah, 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 blah. You get 25%, you need blah, blah, blah. And you just walk through it. And that's why I can't sign up customers, you guys. Because almost every single person I talk to wants to be an associate because I create so much value in the associate position. I create so much value. You get all of this for 50 bucks. Now you're gonna buy the patches anyway, so that's kind of separate. But to get involved in the income side of it, it's 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks. Why would you not do that? Your pain just went away in 10 minutes. Why would you not do that? Why would you not tell other people? I don't yell like that most of the time, <laughs> but inside I am. <laughs> inside, I'm leaning into them. Like I'm leaning into the Zoom right now. Talking to you guys, I lean into people. And I create that situation where they want to be a part of something that's bigger than them. And this whole thing called Super Patch is way bigger than any of us. But we have to learn to talk to people. We have to learn how to talk to people. After you have a conversation with somebody and you figure out what's going on in their life, and then they simply ask you, look for signs that you can jump in there and, 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 and introduce them to these patches. And then you're going to tell them why you got involved in the company and what drives you 
You're going to talk about what patches you use and how that relates to them. And you're going to talk about how this business has helped you. Now, where did we find all of this? It's right here, you guys. Right here. Go to Miracle Workers. Go to the search bar. Click on Milkshake app. Click on North America, blah, blah, blah. Fill, just follow the steps. And everything is right here. And that's only like the first three pages. That's only the first three pages. But this page right here is where you're going to make all of your headway. <clears throat> those three questions right there. If you can master those three questions and be able to spit it out at a moment's notice with no notes, like I'm doing this here today, you guys, I have nothing on my desk. I thought about it and I knew I was gonna do this today. And I thought, okay, I gotta go get prepared for this. And in a millisecond, I start laughing. I'm like, you don't have to prepare for this. This is what you do. This is just what you do every day. You tell people why you got started, what patches you use, and how this business has helped you. And all I do is relate that back to them in the conversation that I just had. Come on, it is that simple. It is that simple. Make it about them. And that is what creates the relationship. Now, if you continue to scroll down, and I'm just gonna do this super fast, um, here's a cheat sheet. How do you connect with people? Be yourself. People connect with those they know, like, and trust. The best way, uh, the best built connections, uh, they show interest in their life. The best way to build connections with people is to show interest in their lives. Not your life, their life. And how these super patches can affect their life. Don't talk about super patches all the time. They'll push back. Okay? Pay attention to what people are struggling with and assist if Super Patch has a solution, and celebrate people. What, look for reasons to reach out to people. Reach out to somebody when they post something of success that they had, a birthday, some type of achievement. And then follow up, I'm not gonna go through any of this, and then social media. This is a whole training in itself, and I talked to Carrie about this, and we're gonna do more of this on social media. And let's look at this, you guys. Tells you exactly what to do on social media, how to follow up with people, what to say. Um, these are income producing activities. If what you're doing isn't moving you closer to an associate or a customer, stop doing it. Social media checklist, I'm just going fast because we're not doing this right now, okay? But my point is, when people say, how do I do this? How am I supposed to you know, draw people towards me? How do I get people to get, be interested in what I'm doing? Oh, it says right here, this is how you do it. And these are scripts that you can use and put your own personality into it. Oh yeah, you're just getting started? What are you gonna do on day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine? And then onboarding. Here's your checklist. Blah, 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 blah. When are you gonna achieve the hat trick bonus, the all-star bonus? How many demos are you gonna do per month? Average is 15. If you're a pro, you're doing 30. If you're an elite level, you're doing 60. And that's it, okay? All of that is right here. Let me hit the back button here. Right here, your digit, and that was, that was just this right here. People say, well, where do I find the compensation plan at a glance? Oh, it's right here. It's right here, print it out. Make sure you have it with you, okay? People wanna know about the product. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Give this to, give this to somebody. You don't have to worry about compliance when you hand this to them. And go, oh, yeah, for pain, here's the freedom patch. Um, what does it do? Chronic pain, blah, 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 blah. Everything's right here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, promise to do this at the, the demo. These are all separate trainings that we're going to do, you guys. I love this one. You can choose the fun and easy way, or you can choose the research scientist, which is the scary and hard way. If you try to be a neuroscientist, you're gonna to have to do these steps. 
If you want to be somebody like anybody who is successful in the business, you're going to do it the fun and easy way. And when people say, how does it work? You go, I have no idea. Come here, let me put this patch on you. I want to do this demo on you. I want to show you. How does it work? I don't know. All I know is that when I put this pen in my hand, without even looking at it, my brain says, Steve, you're holding a pen. That's how it works. But if you try to be a neuroscientist, it's going to be the scary way. Okay? All of this information is right here. It is right here. All right, let me stop my share. Does anybody have any comments? Hey, Steve. Go ahead, Kenny. You know, I, I think uh, as far as me, but I really don't get out a whole lot as far as getting out. So social media is the the thing for me. So um, I think it's for a lot of people, you know, they may be like 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 me and you know, really don't get out as far as communicating for as face to face or even on. I, I think a lot of times the hard part is getting from social media to jumping on a phone call. So could you could, could you kind of touch base on as far as where would you go from like connecting on Facebook or yep. whatever social media platform to a phone call? Yeah, and that's ex that's how I do most of my reach outs too, Ken. Most of my reach outs, but they're mainly with people that I know. So it makes a little bit of a difference, okay? Um, I am really, really, really trying to step up my social media presence and it is working in a big, big way. Okay. And we'll go through all of that in a totally separate training. Yeah. But what I'm looking for is people who I'll post something and I'll, anybody who reacts to it. Okay. If somebody puts a comment, those are the people that I reach out to first. And what I'll simply do based on whatever their comment is, I will send them a private message. And I'll say, Hey, Bob, Hey man, thanks for, uh, thanks for commenting on my post the other day. I had, a, I had a great time with my granddaughter, done. And I wait for Bob to respond to me privately. And Bob may come back to me and say, oh my gosh, Steve, I didn't even know you had grandchildren. She's adorable. And then we have a conversation. Then we have a conversation through private Oh, uh, Hang on guys, hang on, hang on. And I will simply, and I will simply then say in the comments, how have you been? You know, we haven't talked in a while. Let's catch up. What's the best number to reach you? And that's how I do it. So it's the, it's the exact same way that I do when I meet somebody in person. I don't talk about Super Patch right away. We have this little banter back and forth, and I try to discover what's going on in their life. I do the same thing online. I reach out to them because they commented or they they did some type of reaction on a post of mine i send them a private message to start the conversation and trust me there are many times where i send private messages and nothing comes back nothing comes back i'm like don't you know who i am what are you doing why are you ignoring me right but it, it happens it absolutely happens and but when they do reach back when they do hit me, then I start a normal conversation back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh man, that's great. Hey, listen, I, you know, we haven't, we haven't, you know, talked in a while. We got to catch up. And then I wait for them to go, yeah, it's been a while. I say, well, hey, but listen, what's the best number to get a hold of you? The number that I have for you is, and that's the best thing. I said, what's the best number to get a hold of you? The number I have for you is boom. And if I have their number, they're like, whoa, Steve's already got my number. That's awesome. And then it's, then it's a slam dunk. And then when we when I make the call, Ken, what I'll do is I'll simply go, how you doing, man? What's going on? Tell me what's going on in your life. And we'll have a 20 minute conversation before I can weasel myself in there because they asked me what I have been up to these days. And that's that's the transition, Ken. So I hope that helps. Anybody else? I I hope go ahead, Jimmy. Not something for you. Right, just to expand, uh, just to expand on that, what you were saying there. The fun, the fun thing about that that came to my mind is, is does everybody on the call get the feeling like when you when you're in your, um, you know, you're reaching out to your person, and then you get to the point where you're you're gonna talk to them about the patch. Uh, it's like you opened up when when they they come back and they ask you a question about your patches. 
they they it's like they open you, as soon as you answer you opened up the door where they can just ask you question 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 so when we open the door with them about talking about their family why don't we ask question 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 about their family and <laughs> and turn turn our questioning right back around uh instead of more business turn our questions around to them uh not not overwhelm them with questions but you know like like they do to us they want to get all the information out of us right now so that they can make a decision right there on the phone before ever looking at you know the tool or checking out our video and does more respect to just kind of let them watch our video and, and do that and learn more about them and and share our video pointed at what what they're wanting yeah jimmy that is such a good point i don't send anybody any information until i've talked to them you know right. even even when somebody says hey steve I, I saw something online can you send me some information i'm like no let's have a conversation because if i just sent them a video if i just they've got these preconceived notions of what it is and they're like i don't know I never send anybody anything until I have a conversation with them. And Jimmy, you were so great on Tuesday when you when you taught us to just shut up and ask questions. I love that. <laughs> that is exactly what we need to do. And I know that sounds completely wrong, but you got to be quiet but ask questions. And I think uh, I think that's what that's that really really does help. If nobody, Ken, you got something else? Yeah, I was just going to say this. You know, for me. I guess just because of things that happened uh, growing up, you know, I was always worried about what people thought about me or how I said something or um, if I was trying to, I guess, sell it, especially with a business like this, trying to sell them on something. And so I guess the mindset you're talking about knowing how to talk to people, uh, a lot of times in the back of our mind, we would think, well, I got to get them in or I got to sell them on something instead of really connecting with them. And so that's something that I've really had to work past is to build that that relationship first and then just let it be natural as far as the conversation for the business. Because I know I, I know I can't be the only one that thinks in the back of my mind that I got to get them in or I got to sell them something. So that's something I've really had to work on is not worry about what they think about me, build that relationship and then just kind of let it be natural as far as going into the business aspect of it. Yeah. No, nope, there's no doubt. I think I did a call on that um, a few months ago where I said, if, if you are concerned about what people are going to think, that means you're more concerned about the outcome as opposed to helping someone. If we have the mindset that says, listen, I am offering you a solution. I'm giving you a gift. I'm offering you a solution for something you just told me. If you have that mindset at all times, you'll never have to worry about what people think of you or what people are gonna say um, because it's you offering them something. And if they don't take the gift, that's on them, it's not on you. So just kind of have that mindset and I think it'll, I think it'll help. Oh.